Hello and welcome Aquarius. Aquarius has the term agua, meaning water in it. And I'm recording this on one of the hottest days of the year. So you can see all these watery sweat stains on me. Nothing I can do. <laughs> right? So what we do here, um, Aquarians, we will look at the overall energy for the months of October 2023 for your very sign. Before we then look at the... At your emotional core see if there's healing that needs to happen or if there's he healing coming in or there's love coming in that sort of energy before we then lastly look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of october 2023 and if you are a person that says you know i could do with a bit more guidance well there's a couple of ways if you want to have a reading with me um, that can be done um, and you will find the information in the description box below how to go about it. If you are a person that says like, oh, you know, a bit of daily guidance would do me good. In that case, my TikTok account is where you should be going with this. Because on TikTok, I am publishing a, a short one card a day or card for the day thing every single day. And you just go there and there it is. Right. That said, are you ready? Let's have a look then. Hmm. So your, your overall energy feels a bit divided. Therefore, the first thing I should say to you, Aquarians, is for you to pay attention to what it is you really want to do and how it is you really want to to feel. You have the blue moon. The blue moon comes around every 26 months and then some. Here, here you have a depiction of the blue moon, right? And the blue moon by default is the most powerful of all powerful of all the full moons. And that means that when uh, the energy of the moon um, is so powerful in your energy at this point in time, you can believe in the impossible. So a lot of things will work for you, provided you don't see them from an analytical point of view, simply because the moon, and especially the, the blue moon, the blue moon or the moon is all about emotions. So always reflect on stuff from an emotional point of view um, and then go to or go towards the energies that make you feel appreciated and welcome and by default that make you really feel good. So because you have uh, another energy here, which is the, the full moon in Pisces energy, and Pisces is the sign uh, that comes after Aquarius, but it's also the sign of the, um, the dreamer. And um, Pisces is depicted by two fish that swim away from one another before they return. And so that energy here means that you need to step back a little from whatever it is you are currently uh, doing to reflect on it a little and you have balance uh, as, a, as, a, as a phrase you have balance spirituality and practicality so the point they're getting i'm getting here is you might be a person that is just a tad busy instead of and instead of stepping back and say like am i too busy am i doing too much you just keep going which is not helpful uh, because you're not sending the right messages and the message would be that you need a bit of a break here so what you're being asked is to do a little less step back a little so that you can reflect on where in life you are and that is the overall energy for the month of october so it is really important for you to understand once you reflect on where you are at in life and then believe that there is other ways of getting to where you want to be so don't go into self-doubt um once you get there, once you kind of go, like, I don't have to do that, and I don't have to do that, and I don't have to do this, if I don't want to do this, new doors will open because you're finally looking at possibilities rather than improbabilities, if that makes sense, right? So that is that. Let's look at the um, emotional core uh, for the sign of Aquarius in the month of October 2023. You are watching Thomas' Tower readings. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's www.
buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now let's have a look what we got for your um, emotional core. And I'm using a deck that doesn't often come out, if that makes sense. And I was just drawn to it today, which is a deck that just deals with colors. And it is very interesting because when it comes to your emotions, this is all about healing. So I'm not saying that love isn't coming in, but here it is way more important to look at yourself to then manifest a relationship that really works and, and or um, make changes in a current relationship you are in. So you have red and you have chocolate. Red is about grounding, right? But also red is to understand once you're grounded, which means you're connected to the soil, to earth, um, you can free yourself from pain. You can free yourself from, and they're using that term, you can free yourself from old pain. So the point is there's still stuff inside you. And the stuff inside you may not necessarily be about something that happens to you and happened to you in a relationship. If you are, uh, um, so you could also have some childhood trauma that never allowed you to be a particularly uh, um, powerful lover or attentive lover. And maybe you have been conditioned by other people that don't, that now doesn't allow you to feel enough pleasure. Maybe you, 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 you carry that a feeling of I don't deserve this, this kind of energy. Point is, it's not necessarily all about what happened to you in relationships and letting that go. This goes way deeper. This is about your entire being reflecting on how am I feeling when it comes to, to intimacy with someone. And your job is literally to um, look at it and then beginning to let it go. And the interesting thing is that the next color is sort of a... <laughs> It is brown, which is also about grounding, but it is the energy of, or the color of chocolate, if that makes sense. And, and chocolate is about nourishing your body and soul. So, I'm not asking you to go to the shop now and buy 5,000 Mars bars. That's not what I'm getting here. But when you look at what is not working and then you let that go and you learn to release things, you will very likely then go into a healing crisis. Um, it's now called a 21-day healing response, but it's a fucking crisis. <laughs> and should this happen to you, should you be hit by, whoa, there's quite a lot still sitting there, um, then you need to also be able to nourish yourself. And that, that means that it is perfectly uh, fine to overindulge a little without feeling guilt. Now, the energy of guilt is quite strong here in that part of your reading. So whatever you're carrying with you, where someone made you feel less, is the first thing that needs to go, okay? Because you are always more than enough, right? So I'm just getting this strongly for you, Aquarians. And now lastly, we will look at the um, at opportunities. It's the percent of to you in the month of October, 2023, for your very sign. Before we continue, not sure if I mentioned it or not, um, I am now a, an executive contributor for a magazine called Brains. And the Brains magazine is an online magazine. Um, and it is really amazing because a lot of the things that are in that article, in, in these articles that you can find there, is about helping others, um, but also about, um, so it's about supporting one another, but it's, but it's all about entrepreneurship, business, as well as mindfulness and lifestyle energy. So this is a holistic kind of a, of, a, of, a, of a magazine, even though when you look at the cover, I personally find it looks, it looks very much like a business thing. Um, but I would not have anything to do with, with a business thing. I'm running my life as a business, but I'm not that person, um, you know, that needs to sort of, you know, have everything and anything that has to do with being successful, right? Because I am successful and I'm fucking awesome on top of it. So that is my has always been my 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 lifestyle uh, itself. Point is, they handpick the uh, the uh, executive contributors that they ask uh, to write for them because and uh, because of their uh, experiences and because of their knowledge. And they contacted me 
uh, handpicked me, if that makes sense. And I write articles for their mindfulness section that are all very empowering uh, as well as very helpful um, to you. And it's all free of charge. And you find the information about the Brands magazine in the description box below. Okay, that's that. Let's have a look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of October 2023 for your very sign. You ready? Let's have a look. <laughs> so, you know when I just talked about, about um, helping others and all that kind of stuff, that's what I'm getting for you Aquarians um, when it comes to opportunities. You have the energies of community, which is actually the energy of the 11th house. And you are the 11th sign governed by the 11th house. Right? You're also governed by one of two gender neutral planets. Your planet is Uranus. And Uranus is the only gender fluid planet. So how this translates here is that when it comes to opportunities, and these are more about opportunities that sustain, sustain you, if that makes sense. Um, so there's a financial aspect to this. Um, be who you truly are. This is really, really super important because you are a very open-minded person and therefore you are, you are not judgmental. Uh, and that is really, really important uh, at this point in time to, to don't work with anybody that has a judgmental energy towards anybody, if that makes sense, because you will take it personal and very likely you will speak up, right? So what I'm getting is uh, here is to look out for the community you are actually working in, become a part of it. But I also feel that now is the time for you to go into leadership a little, right? Um, uh, be a bit stronger. Sounds a bit wrong. But, uh, but be a bit uh, stronger in the sense of, you know, uh, sometimes in its Aquarian's imprint to hold back a little. Um, conflict is not, is not really that great uh, for Aquarians. So sometimes you just, um, you know, in England we have a saying here, if you haven't got anything nice to say, don't say anything at all, which is a nice phrase. Would not work where I'm from. Because unless you say something, you can't, you can't solve anything, right? So how helpful this is, is in the eye of the beholder. The energy here is about you being more upfront, speaking up a little to then manifest and be more, yeah, it's the way I'm getting this, more assertive in whatever it is you do that sustains you financially. And at the same house, uh, same house. At the same time, we're moving into the 12th house. So we're moving from the 11th house, Aquarius, to the 12th house, Pisces. So to your neighboring sign, if that makes sense. This applies a lot to, um, remember, these are general readings, and I get it, they're not, they're not going to necessarily resonate with all of you. But it will be stronger, that the message here will be stronger or more strongly felt and therefore easier to, um, to get done uh, for those that are that are um, that were born a little bit closer to the beginning of the sign of Pisces coming in. So, if you were born uh, um, early into your sign, let's just say the first 15, 20, 15 to twenty days, that doesn't mean the message is not for you. It just means that you will likely not be able to to fully go for what it is you want to go for unless you're conscious about it. For the people born sort of in the, you know, not, I'm not getting the 20 as such, right? But when Pisces is coming in, it is literally about five to seven days before that you can really already feel um, the energy of the new sign. And yet, every time you go into a new sign, which is not the case for you, but, but I'm talking about going into the next sign of Pisces here, when Pisces comes in, or the same thing when, when, when Aquarius came in, it takes up to seven days for the sign to be in its full strength. So where you're heading to is into the energy of a dreamer. So again, it's about introspection. 
what you're being asked is to literally borrow some of Piscean's more dream-esque, I, you know, I have my own little world that I'm going to be in, um, and be introspective, if that makes sense. Um, really, really important to have introspection, and this is also what the 12th house um, is like, because there is this part of Piscean's and of Pisces that are sometimes they're not really here. I'm a Pisces, I can be all over the fucking place, and I, and I do appear as though I'm not present. You know, whether or not it's a good thing, I don't know. The point is I'm, I'm Pisces um, and I can be in my dream world for quite some time. The point is that your job is, if that makes sense, to borrow some of that I'm not bothered today energy and also apply this to your work life, if that makes sense. Really, really important. And the interesting thing here is as well that the, you know, obviously there's a, there's a massive deck here, right? And I shuffled it well. And yet... The, the cards that came out were the cards that in this deck follow one another naturally. So you have the 11th house, which is the, your community energy, which has the number 49, and then the Piscean energy has the number 50. So it will be natural, just as it is natural to go from Aquarius to Pisces, it will be very natural for you to borrow some of Piscean's traits, um, which means you, you can allow yourself to not answer every phone call, to not answer every question that comes your way and choose a lot more me time because that's what this boils down to. So when it comes to opportunity, to cut a long story short, if you are looking for changes in whatever it is you do for a living, what doesn't seem to make a lot of sense here um, is for you to do more that is stressful. Now, this is your October 2023 reading. So whatever it is you do, if this is somewhat business related, we're moving towards the energy of Halloween and we're moving towards the energy of Christmas. Kurisu masu, as the Japanese say. So we're moving towards the energy of being super busy. Um, and it just does not serve you very well. Bro, uh, so therefore, if you can recharge your battery a little by being a bit more Piscean about stuff, it will all be much easier. Okay, Aquarians, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Um, please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. See you all very soon. Bye-bye.